This video is for sailing and entertainment purposes only. Or that I wouldn't get my channel back. I'd like to rub that right in your face. And now I would like to rub Kuwait in your face. Why do I look like someone's Aunt Janet? Well, look at me! Nurse, clear my schedule. Hello everybody. In today's video, we are talking about some of Foodie Beauty's new drama, her supposed apology that in my opinion is not an apology at all for her recent behavior, as well as some cat talk. If you guys don't know, she is actually rehoming her cats. We're going to take a look at everything as well as Foodie Beauty literally hanging out with Pete while living with him and not wearing any pants. Gara, <laughs> what are you doing? Well, <laughs> Whoever said this was an entertainment channel. So, okay, I also wanted to talk to you really briefly right now about some new pictures that have surfaced. Was Foodie Booty's man, was her husband caught with another woman? Isn't this a surprise? Right, what's going on, okay? Let me just briefly explain the background. So, Sala's friend, Foodie Booty's husband's friend, who she was so mean to and she was really inappropriate to his wife, that's why she got the strike on her channel. He recently was a guest on a live stream all right now i'm not going to repeat the things that he said because quite frankly you know we don't have a hundred percent clarification if it's a fact or not i'm not going to repeat things that i don't know if they're true or not do i believe them yes uh were they negative yes he said quite a bit of stuff okay so that's in the background he did a stream he did a live stream he said a lot of um, not the best things about foodie booty okay but what is happening now is that there is a picture that is all over Twitter. I, I can't show it to you because the woman did not consent for this photo to obviously be shared. And, you know, I'm assuming she didn't. I'm not going to do that to her. Okay. It is not a modest photo either. Okay. It is a photo of a woman that is being shared on the internet. What does this have to do with Foodie Booty's husband? I want you to take a look at this community page post that foodie beauty made a while back she had said she was seeing some guy named tony yeah <laughs> and i'm a kermit okay so she says she was seeing some man named tony and all this other stuff and as you can see it's a picture in a very like dimly lit red light well, the reason that this matters, you're going to have to take my word for it. I'm sorry. I'm not going to expose that woman. I'm not going to like post that picture. I've never do that to anybody. Um, the thing is, is that that woman's picture that has been circulating on the internet is exactly in the same red shade of light. It's obvious that <laughs> quote unquote, Tony and that woman were together at the same time. Now, there's two different possibilities which could be going on. A lot of people have said, well, you know, Foodie Beauty's husband supposedly allegedly is seeing other women and all this other stuff. I don't know if that's true or not, but I will say this. Basically, was he really caught with another woman? Well, I can't say yes and I can't say no, but what I can say is that it definitely looks like the pictures of him and his friend and companion were taken on the same night. I think he just set, sent Foodie Beauty months and months ago one photo of himself and didn't tell Foodie Beauty that he was entertaining the guest. And now that picture has finally surfaced, you know, after months and months. Or something else could be going on. Who knows? What do you guys think? This is what I think happens. Foodie Booty lied and said she was seeing some guy named Tony a while back. It was really her husband that she was talking to, lying that his name was Tony. And what it is, is it's not that, in my opinion, I don't know what he's doing, but based on those photos, I don't think that he is seeing that woman now. I think that when in quotation marks, Tony, AKA her husband, right? When he was sending foodie those pictures, he only sent her a picture in that red lighting of himself, not telling her that he was entertaining guests, that woman in the same picture. Do you understand what I'm saying? So now the second picture from that night has surfaced, right? She had said that this was, you know, like, uh, the guy that she was seeing Tony. I think she wasn't seeing any man named Tony. I think that it was her future husband. She was just talking to him on the internet and he had just sent her that picture of himself in that red light so that is what's going on do i think that foodie beauty is the one true love of her husband's life my personal opinion i'm allowed to have it no i don't i think this whole marriage is fake i think the whole thing is fake and i'm not surprised that this is all coming out okay there's a lot of tea there's a lot of drama never forget that foodie beauty said in this 
uh, video. Oh, season two is coming. She knows she's an entertainer. How come Foodie Beauty hasn't spoken out on the picture? She basically said that that guy's name was Tony. It's, in my opinion, looks like it's not a guy named Tony, but it was her future husband. What I'm trying to say is a guy sends you pictures and you don't know that he's, uh, uh he's getting his <laughs> What are you doing? Polished over there. Okay. So anyways, that's what's going on. Let's just move on and we'll talk about the cats. If you could not tell already by this intro, everything I'm saying is just for entertainment purposes only, not meant to be taken seriously. I'm sharing opinions, not facts on public figures and what they are choosing to make public. I'm never comparing their public stories to you. I'm just commenting on their individual stories. I would urge you to be kind in the comment section to these people. Please never ever go to their channels and leave them mean spirited, negative, discouraging, disparaging comments. Okay, so let's just talk about Foodie Beauty getting rid of her cats. So as we speak, the day that I'm going to publish this video, Sam is gone. Sam is being picked up today and Sam is leaving. BJ is not gone, no. Sam is leaving tomorrow. I put it on my planner with like a sad face. It's so re surreal to me. I can't believe I'm getting rid of my cats, but <clears throat> honestly, being in touch with their new families and everything is, you know, he's going to a new owner. Just wanted to say, uh, basically, the entire stream, she's laughing and smiling and seemed pretty happy to get rid of the cat. She was in very high spirits. She was in great spirits. She was seemed pretty happy. Don't let this somber clip that I used to prove what I'm saying is true, that she's getting rid of the cats, fool you. She seemed, in my opinion, pretty happy to get rid of her cats. I can't even imagine. BBJ was there for you through your breakup. These are senior cats. Hey, these are my opinions on the situation. First of all, um, I'm not going to play the entire stream. As you guys know, I never play her entire stream all the way through. Uh, my opinion is that we don't really know if people are coming to pick up the cats, right? Um, in my opinion, it is possible. I'm not saying this is a fact, but it's possible. The way that she keeps flip-flopping. Oh, the owner. Oh, this person. Oh, that person, the owner. Okay. It's possible, in my opinion, that she's just going to give the cats to a shelter. Now, she may not give them to a shelter. I want to make that clear, but it's possible that she does give them away to a shelter. I would not put anything past her. As soon as she started dating her ex-non-boyfriend, you know that guy, right? Not her husband. It became glaringly obvious that she doesn't care about the cats, okay? They were just like, okay, when she was living a certain type of lifestyle, but when she started thinking that she's a cool girl running around the world, that's it. When she has boyfriends, when she has non-boyfriends, when she has husbands, she can't take the cats with her, okay? So my opinion, it is possible that she's just going to give them up to shelters. I think her viewers are probably uh, would try to go and see if any of the cats are ending up in shelters and just adopt them. Uh, these are senior cats, and and it's just deplorable what she's done. Now, um, talking about the situation, look, I am not shaming anyone who had to rehome their cats. I think in a lot of cases, it's the right thing to do. I really do. Some people have unexpected circumstances, severe illnesses or severe, you know, bad circumstances in their lives where rehoming is the right choice. This is not the case for Foodie Beauty. Not shaming anyone for rehoming, but just have to say Foodie Beauty is doing this out of spite. She doesn't want to take care of these two senior cats that did nothing but love her the entire time that she has been their owner, okay? Uh, she just wants to run around with her husband who told her that he didn't love her. There is no reason why Foodie Beauty, Chantal, can't take care of her senior cats. There's no reason at all. She just doesn't feel like taking care of them. Well, you should not be allowed to have pets then. Uh, I love BBJ and Sam. I'm trying not to make this long because like, I'm like, I, I wanted to talk about this, but like, it makes me so upset and sad. So I just want to wrap it up and saying, who are you Chantal without the cats and Pete's? Like, it feels like it's the end of an era. You're getting rid of Pete's. You're getting rid of the cats. A huge part of your internet persona and personality was the cats and Pete's. It was like a fun like show. You know, what is Pete's going to say? The cats. Everybody loves Sam and BBJ. You're getting rid of them. By the way, Sam and BBJ are not being given to the same person. She claims in the live stream that Sam and BBJ don't get along. And so why should they go to the same person? Uh, because maybe that would be compassionate. 
they've been together for such a long time. It's going to take time for them to get used to their new surroundings. I get it. I know what you guys are going to say. They're better off with people that truly love them and can care for them. She's not the person for that. I understand that. But it's just, it still doesn't change the fact that it's such a sad thing. All right. I don't want to keep talking about it. I'm just getting really upset. Let's just move on. Okay. All right. So... Let's talk about Foodie Beauty's apology. Uh, if you don't know what has been happening, Foodie Beauty has been ingesting quite a bit of gummy bears because she loves gummy bears and telling people in her live streams while she was visibly, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> acting like she ate some gummy bears. What she has been extensively telling people is that she's jet lagged, which I mean, I don't understand how anyone could believe such a blatant lie, because even though people can be jet lagged, like most people can understand if you had a gummy bear, if you just love gummy bears, or if you were jet lagged, right? So she has been extensively lying. We've talked about this before. She's actually been very dishonest with her audience. This is the typical thing with our girls, right? They just love to lie. <laughs> What was that? Ah, uh, yes. La. That was a repeating guy. Okay. So basically, uh, besides lying and saying that she was not going to live with Pete's and besides saying that she was going to, you know, upkeep to her new way of life, all of that didn't happen. She also had been, you know, obviously denying that she was taking, you know, some gummy bears and eating some gummy bears. So she does this, I'm sorry video, which in which she says like a few things like this. Yeah, I'm sorry. I've just been like, it's not even that like, I really try to hide it, you know? Um, obviously been struggling. Temporarily give me gratification to escape. And when I say these things, I'm not using them as excuses. Give, us, give me extra money, YouTube. Uh, I have to change my behavior. There's just no, no other way around it. I miss my husband and to be able to like stand this existence, like it, it makes it easier. It's just the disrespectful part about it. You know what I mean? And honestly, I wish I could have kept on lying about it. I don't really want to tell any, I didn't really want to tell anybody. So obviously she says that she wished she could have continued to lie. This is nothing new. Our girls are um, laws. Okay, so there's nothing, there's no reason to really severely belabor the point that she's a liar. Everybody knows she likes to lie, whatever. As she said, she wasn't doing a very good job of misleading people, uh, when you're eating gummy bears to, you know, when you're at that level, okay, uh, she was very obviously eating gummy bears. The effects of eating a gummy bear on camera was very blatant. She was falling asleep on camera. Okay. Other than the obvious lies, I feel like the things that she said are really universal. Chantal is not the first person and she's not the last person to go through it, feeling like, you know, feelings of despair and feelings of being upset with your life and feeling that you need to do this to feel better. This is universal. It can become a very, very serious issue that I'm very sensitive to. And I understand. I, I get it. That's my whole point. Why not just come on screen and say, guys, you've been following my life for a long time. She sells her life for profit. You know, I've really been struggling this is what I'm doing while I'm struggling. I miss my husband, even though he told me he don't love me. I, you know, have a problem right now where I want to be back, you know, with my husband, even though his friends are exposing me with all the tea recently. Okay. Like that's fine. That's, <laughs> that's fine. But the point I'm trying to make is all jokes, not aside, is that you know what? This is a very universal feeling of, listen, I need to do this. This is why the world can understand you. You are not the first or the last person to go through this. My point here is this. I feel like if she just came on and told her story, at least some of her audience would understand. It's not so much what she's lying about. Like I've always said, it's not so much what our girls are lying about. It's she says that she's disrespecting her husband pretty much and it's a sign of disrespect and all that. But it's also about 
like, why create these lies when you can tell the truth? It's never about what these people are lying about. It's about the act of lying and just, you can still be honest. Many people will relate to you. I understand what she's saying. I'm not going to judge her for wanting to do this, for feeling like she needed to do this because it's an understandable universal feeling. This is just like when she had broken up with her husband temporarily and she said, you know, I feel like who would want to be with me, you know, and that's a feeling that many people have. I feel like instead of lying and saying, you know, her going around for a month saying that she's jet lagged when it was clear that she was eating gummy bears is silly. My point is be honest with your audience. Even if everyone can't support you, I feel like a lot of people can relate to certain stories and they would understand. Okay. Now, All of this is to say that in my opinion, this entire apology is fake because she decides in this big apology stream to say this. Hey, those people who said I'm not going to Kuwait, I would like to rub it right now, rub it soaked in your face like a dirty diaper. Okay, I'd love to rub that right in your face. Actually, let's go all the way back to Cuba. People who said I would never happen or that I wouldn't get my channel back. I'd like to rub that right in your face. And now I would like to rub Kuwait in your face, okay? And then those people, like Frenchie, but like right away they're like, oh, they're breaking up, <laughs> I told you, blah, blah, blah. I'd like to rub that all in your face, okay? And what else can I rub in your face? How exactly is this an apology? If you're going to come on YouTube and say, that you know you have contrition and you disrespected your husband and you really wanted to tell your audience that you were disrespectful and you know all this other stuff you're sorry why are you acting in this way i'm going to tell you this is very simple look i personally have said this before i cannot take foodie booty seriously this apology has to be fake because you even heard her say Oh, I wish I could have started lying again. I wish I would have continued to lie. I didn't want to stop lying. Okay. I'm not an expert in apologies. I don't know all the right things to say. But my advice here is, if you are really not sorry, and it is my opinion based on human common sense that Chantal Foodie Booty is not sorry, I would say to not make the live stream saying that you're sorry. You want to rub in people's faces about getting your channel back after it was deleted for you live streaming some of the worst stuff that you could ever live stream. Then you got the channel back and then went ahead and got strikes on it by going after your husband's friend's wife, okay? And now you're saying that, I guess she means Frenchie, French right girl, um, that she was saying, I guess, supposedly that you were breaking up with your husband. Chantal, you have an entire live stream that I have a video on, which you now deleted, saying that your husband told you that he didn't love you. Then you said in the next stream that you took it to mean that way, and now you're, you know, you're getting back together after your marriage is over. Those were your words. My marriage is over, which you're fake crying. My point here is this. People talk about what they see. Now, th- all reaction channels are different, right? Uh, you know, everybody has their own style. Some people are abrasive. Some people are nice. Some people are mean. Some people, you know, go a different way about it. Some people are brash. Some people are, you know, very different. Like, all people have different styles of speaking. But French Fry Girl is not wrong about your marriage breaking up when you already told us that like I, I'm just wondering what kind of dimension you're living in okay I'd love to go through a portal to another dimension wherever she's at foodie booty because you already made a live stream saying that your husband doesn't love you and your marriage is over it doesn't matter that it was clickbait fake for views it, 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 all of that doesn't matter it's in there. There's no way it's a real relationship. You lied about being married and now you're saying you're sorry to your audience and you're trashing everyone. No, I have never heard even in other communities of people coming on here saying that they're sorry and then making sure that they trash their haters and non-congratulators. Like, honestly, of course, it's a fake apology. You heard her. She wishes she could continue to lie. I just think that she said she's sorry to have content. Honestly, I can't take Foodie Booty seriously. I'm sorry. I can't take any of her content seriously. It's like, uh, realistically, this is not a real apology. You do not trash people. You don't trash people 
while you're trying to ask for their forgiveness. It doesn't work that way. If you're not truly sorry, don't say I'm sorry. So there is a part in her new live stream where she talks about how she has had severe difficulty adhering to her new religion while in Canada, and she's messed up a bunch of times. There were so many things that she did, like, for example, you know, not eating halal food uh, and not just not adhering to a lot of things. My personal opinion on this is, yes, that's true. I understand. I mean, it is what it is, okay? Um, my opinion on that is I don't think she was ever really going to, like, I just think that she's going to do whatever she wants when she's in Canada, and I think that she's going to do what she feels she has to do when she's with her husband, okay? But I think the deeper issue is this. Something else gets brought up. Can you prove you have pants on? Actually, I have a dress on. Okay, so she's asked, can you prove you're like, <laughs> you know, not wearing pants or wearing pants or all that stuff. This next part that I'm going to talk about, I think is outrageous. And I think it has this next part, although it does fit in with her, you know, not adhering to her religion. It does. But I think any husband would have a serious problem with what I'm about to tell you. She continuously lived with Pete this entire time when she has been away from her husband and in Canada. And she has continuously said that she was not wearing any pants. Now, I understand that Pete is an old friend and that she never wore any pants around him before her marriage. And I get all that. Okay. And I understand that she wants to be comfortable in her home, but how do you expect anyone to take you seriously and the fake marriage to be taken seriously, which I'm here to tell you, spoiler alert, Melissa, her new name is Melissa. She said her name was Melissa in a fake listing. Anyways, uh, that's the only Melissa that's, that's the only time I'm calling her Melissa in this video. But yes, uh, basically, like, how do you think that that's okay to do? There is not a husband around. I think most people who are married, and it doesn't even have to be like, you know, a husband or a wife. It could be just a person that is married to another person, human being. Who would be okay with you walking around in your underwear with no pants on in front of your roommate, especially if you and your roommate used to be, used to be in a partnership relationship together? The fact that she talks about this so freely uh, shows that she doesn't care about, like, my opinion is she doesn't care about her marriage. My opinion is she doesn't care about embarrassing her husband. My opinion is she clearly doesn't really care for the vows and the promises that she's made to her husband. How do you, first of all, be so disrespectful, as our girl Anne Boleyn would say, or disrespectful to your husband that you would walk around without your pants on in front of another person that you're living with, that who you used to be in a relationship with? But on top of that, be that disrespectful to tell your audience about it. Why is it that you feel so comfortable walking around without pants on when you're in a romantic new marriage and you're claiming that it's a real marriage when everybody knows you were not married when you said you were, okay? Uh, a lot of the community believes it's a fake marriage. How could you walk around without your pants? Isn't this a surprise? After saying, oh, you know, first of all, she promised she was never going to even live with with uh pete's which you know more redetermined that was a lie um that was that was such a lie okay i'm sorry even the repeating guy has to get in on this girl you're lying basically at the end of the day she said she wasn't going to live with him and she wasn't going to you know be inappropriate and not only did she lie about living with him and she did continuously live with him the entire time that she's been back but she's on purpose walking around without pants on like have some respect for your new husband this is my personal opinion i think that th it's just an opinion not a fact i don't think that her husband cares and i think that her husband doesn't really care that much because first of all there's really nothing he can do about it first of all i mean they're in different countries right now he can't force her to stop well i suppose he can tell her like he already did tell her that um he doesn't care for her or love her uh wonderful i i still can't get over the fact that he supposedly told her that he doesn't love her or quote unquote she said in a stream she took it to mean that <laughs> He doesn't love me after one fight. He never did. And she's continuing on with him and, you know, no longer is living with Pete's gave away her cats for this. I think it's ridiculous, but... You know, I think that not only can he not physically stop her right now, but I don't think he cares because, and this all culminates in the 
basic point that if I believe that if he really loved and cared about her, like if this was a genuine woman of his life and all this other stuff, I think he would have quite a bit to say. Now, to be fair, we don't know what he has said privately, but I think that he would pretty much get incredibly upset that his wife was not wearing any pants extensively around her ex-partner that she is now living with after promising not to live with. Like, what? what is going through somebody's head when they are like, you know what, I'm going to completely disrespect my marriage. I'm going to completely disrespect my marriage and then tell everybody about it. So it's ba- it, it's amazing to me. This <laughs> Chantal lies about a lot of things, right? But she then tells the truth about things that maybe she, I'm not saying she should have lied about it, but maybe you shouldn't have broadcast to embarrass your supposed husband even further. All right, well, that's about it for today. I wish Foodie Booty all the best. Let me know what you guys think about this video in the comments down below. Thank you so very much for spending some of your time with me. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, check out this video that's popping up here. If you didn't enjoy it, go and check out this video and leave it a dislike. Be a friend. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you next time. Bye. Guys, do you know Foodie Beauty? Walking away so fast. You're walking in uniform.